everyone, it's your girl Cherry here and today we're going to discuss how do you do dividend investing on Robinhood. I'm going to attack this topic in three parts. Part number one, why Robinhood? Part number two, why dividend investing? And part number three, how? How do you do dividend investing through Robinhood? So part one, why Robinhood? So after working in the finance industry, finance and accounting industry, and using different platforms, different investing platforms, Robinhood is by far the most easy to understand, intuitive platform that I've ever used. And I've tried so many different platforms. I've tried Webull, I've tried M1 Finance, I've tried Fidelity, I've tried Vanguard, I've tried all these platforms. And Robinhood is by far the most user-friendly platform, the most easy to understand beginner's app. And don't frown upon beginner's app because it doesn't mean it's less good because it's a beginner's app. In fact, Robinhood has a huge advantage and that is zero commission trading, zero commission buying and selling stocks. Even large platforms like Fidelity. Fidelity charges a $5 fee for buying and selling stocks. Same with Charles Schwab. So this is one advantage, huge advantage that Robinhood has. If you know anything about me, if you know me in person, you'll know that I love free. And if there is something that is zero in fees, I am not paying five bucks in fees, all right? If there is something that I can get for free, I am not paying any money to get that same thing. And not only is Robinhood free to trade, to buy and sell stocks, you can also get one free stock just by signing up with my link, which I'll include in the info box. And this is seriously an offer that I could not pass personally. This is the reason why I started investing with Robinhood because my friend has a referral link so I used his link and I got my free stock and that's how I got started. Think about this, you don't even need to put in your own money into investing in stocks. How great is that? It's not even your money. You're just investing with a free stock that you get by signing up with my link. So do it right now. Seriously, stop passing on opportunities. You clicked onto this video for a reason. You're interested in investing. So what more reason do you need? You don't even have to put in your own money to begin. Just start today. You have nothing to lose. So that is why Robinhood. And then now let's talk about why dividend investing. So yeah, dividend investing, for one, it sounds less sexy than trading in cryptocurrency or marijuana stocks. It does sound less sexy. But at the same time, it is by far my most preferred method of investing right now compared to all the other investments that I've done in the past like a year or two. Why is that? If you take a look at my portfolio, you'll see that I lost like $2,000 in cryptocurrency in just 2018 and I lost even more money in 2019 when I'm just selling the rest of my cryptos because it just gives me too much stress. It's way too volatile for my fragile little heart. And on top of that, I don't know about cryptocurrency that much. I just bought into the hype. I just bought cryptocurrency. I bought tons of Ethereum because of FOMO, fear of missing out. I was so fearful of missing out on the most hyped up uh, cryptocurrency, the most hyped up investment ever. And so I, I bought into it without researching enough, without doing my research, without fully understanding what is cryptocurrency, what is Ethereum. So that is why not only do you have to, of course, research, lesson learned, but also that is also why I like to do dividend investing right now. Because dividend investing, it's, it's almost a guaranteed return, okay? They, they can't pay you in negative dividends. No matter how little of dividends you get, even if you just get a couple cents of dividends, that's money. Those are pretty much guaranteed return. You can't really get guaranteed return anywhere else. If anyone tells you, I can flip your money in no time, I cannot double your money, then please run the other way because this person is a scam artist. There is no way for them to guarantee that they're gonna double your money. Even with fund managers, like the funds that are actively managed by fund managers, those are not guaranteed in return. 
yes, they charge a pretty hefty fee, but it doesn't mean any of the returns are guaranteed. There's no such thing as guaranteed return, but for dividend stocks, it is to some extent guaranteed. And it is also pretty predictable. You know around a month in advance how much dividend you're gonna get paid. And that is such a such a great feeling, just looking at your portfolio and seeing all these greens, seeing all these money coming in on this specific day, and you're like, ooh, payday, even though it's not even like your payday of your actual job, but it's payday of passive income, which is just so, so, so exciting. And I really encourage you to start looking into dividend investing because I'm doing it. I'm doing the Robin Hood challenge in which I invest $200 every single week, every single Monday into my portfolio so I can buy more dividend paying stocks. And this made me look forward to every single Monday because I'm like, yes, I get to buy more dividend stocks. Yes, I get to invest more. And this just excites me so much. And now that we get the whys out of the way, let's go into the how. How do you do dividend investing on Robinhood? So number one, of course, you have to create an account as with YouTube, which maybe you have a Gmail account, which you can use on YouTube. So you need to create an account, kind of like creating an Instagram account or social media account. It's like super simple. If you're interested, I guess I can make a tutorial, but honestly, you just put in your information, like your name, your social security for uh, tax purposes, and just pretty straightforward, the sign up part. And of course, use my link to get your free stock and also to thank me for making this video on a lovely Saturday afternoon and not going on dates and all that, yeah. And step number two is that you have to research on what you're gonna invest in. And you don't have to do this right away. I waited quite some time from the time when I signed up and got my free stock to the time when I actually put in my own money to start investing. And I honestly recommend this to any risk averse person because it does feel pretty overwhelming to invest in your first ever stock with your own money because it's not playtime anymore. These are real money and these are your hard earned money. And believe me, I know that feeling because I put pretty high value in money and because I work multiple hustles, I work pretty hard for my money. I do put a lot of value and emphasis on money. So I know that fear. So it's okay, it's okay for you to open your account and wait a period of time, doesn't matter how long, you can wait for as long as you're comfortable with, and then you can start putting your own money into your portfolio. But before you start buying into anything, it is so important to do your research. And I, I learned this the hard way. I lost like $2,000 in a single year and in, in, in a single uh, form of investment and that is cryptocurrency, that is Ethereum. I lost $2,000 on that thing, oh my God. Now just thinking about it, I, I'm still recovering from that loss. Currently my overall all-time portfolio, all-time chart shows an 11% loss and um, let me just pull it up right now. In my all-time chart, it shows that I'm down by 1400 which is an improvement from my $2,000. But honestly, like this mistake is so avoidable if I just put in a little more effort and research a little more. But obviously, as like the emotion-driven, FOMO-driven investor that I was, making all those rookie mistakes as a new investor, of course, I made the mistake of not researching enough. So I don't want you to make the same mistake, seriously. Like, do not make the same mistake. I, I made the mistake for you so that you can not make this mistake. And because you're watching this video right now, they brought us together. And so that's why I'm telling you, like, don't make the same mistake. You don't have to make mistakes as a new investor. There are so many like mistakes that I've done that I am sharing with you in this video so that you don't have to make the same mistake. So research the stock that you wanna buy. And you might ask me, so uh, what, what parts should you uh, research on? Okay, first of all, research on like the 10K, 10Q, all the financial reports and also research on what does this company really do. And also research on the dividend yield, which is calculated by dividend divided by market price. 
So like just research on all of the above topics in order to really understand exactly what you are really investing in. And please do not just follow whatever I buy because I am not liable for your gains or losses. I, I don't want to be liable. This is for like entertainment purposes only. This is not like financial advice or anything. This is just like me talking about my own mistakes and my own journey. So that someone who, who wants to take the same journey, who wants to go on the same journey is not going to make those same expensive mistake. All right, so just disclaimer, not financial advice right here, entertainment purposes only. But seriously, like research on everything. Do not just buy into the hype. Do not just buy into something because like Graham Stephan told you to or Cherry Tongue told you to. Like do not do that, please. Please research, research, and research. Seeking Alpha is also a really great resource that you can utilize to just research, research, and research. And of course there's YouTube, there's Reddit, but just be aware because people on YouTube and Reddit, they don't necessarily have like the credentials and you don't really know who they are. And even like me, like watching me, you don't really know who I am. I'm just giving you like pretty um, universal financial tips, uh, financial mistakes that I've made so that you can avoid making them. And number three is invest for the long run. Seriously, this is something that honestly I wish, I wish I really followed. I hear this advice all the time. Warren Buffett says you have to invest in the long run. Do you think this company is still going to be there in five years? Uh, I'm not sure if he actually said that. I, I probably saw like uh, someone quoting him, but I'm not sure if it's actually like a quote from him. Anyway, this is solid advice because you should always think about the long run because short term, there's a lot of volatility. Uh, there is external factors like maybe how uh, the news is affecting the stock market or something that the president said, like a tweet is affecting the stock market. There are just too many factors that affect the stock market in the short run. So please, please promise me you are investing for the long run. Buying and selling within a short period, uh, day trading, buying penny stocks, to me, that is a lot of effort and not enough return to compensate for the effort. And even for a YouTuber that I watch a lot that I really like, his name is Bruce Wang. Not sure how many of you know him, but he, he is the one who um, kind of led me into the Robin Hood challenge. He was the first YouTuber that I watched that talked about the Robin Hood challenge. And so he also talked about how he was really investing for the short run when he first began trading and he was trading penny stocks and he was reading those candles and he thought he knew what he was doing but he ended up losing a lot of money. And this story, his experience is super similar to my experience of how I invested for a short run. I, I thought I was knowledgeable and I was good enough and I can time the market and I can just flip my cryptocurrency, I can just double my money, which of course is not true. Hindsight is always 2020. but yeah, just please invest for the long run, all the big investors that you see, like I always say Warren Buffett, but because he's like one of the like top, if not the top investor that we know, yeah, Warren Buffett says you should invest for a long term. So if you didn't hear it from me, hear it from Warren Buffett. And the last but not least point and big advice, drum roll, is that you do not want to be driven by emotion. This is why the majority of investors, they lose money and some people say, oh, never touch the stock market because it's so dangerous. It's like a dragon who's gonna eat you alive. Why do people say that? Because people like that, they hear horror stories of others losing all their money or they lose all their money because they're driven by emotions. Think about our 2008 recession and think about how many people lost money in the stock market. Why did they lose money? Not because the stock price is going down, because you don't really lose money until you sell. Those people lost money because they panic sold, because of the sentiment at that time and because the market is going through really rough times, it's going through a downturn and everyone's scared and they hear from their friends and family and coworkers and the Uber driver and like whoever it is talking about how it's so dangerous to leave your money in the stock market so they panic sell and in the end, of course they don't survive the recession. And of course it's not like the only way for people to not survive the recession, but it is one of the ways for people to lose a ton of money because of panic sells, even with cryptocurrency. I did sell at a lower price than what it's at right now, 
because I was driven by emotions, because I was scared, because I watched YouTube videos on how cryptocurrency is never going up again, and so I got scared, and these people were like my idols, and they're like my authority, and so yeah, I, I um, listened to them, and I sold my cryptocurrency. And honestly, of course, not much regret over there, because I've already lost so much money, there is almost no way for me to lose even more. But yeah, at the same time, like just do not get driven by emotions. Getting driven by emotion is the number one way for people to lose money. Human beings, they're naturally emotional. We have emotions, it's natural. But in order to really win in the long run, is to stop getting driven by emotions. Don't panic sell and don't buy when everyone's greedy. I think Warren Buffett's quote goes like this, uh, you should be a fearful when people are greedy and greedy when people are fearful. But this just goes to say that you should almost go against your human instinct. Because everyone is going to behave the same way. We're all humans here. If the overall market sentiment is bad, if people are feeling scared, then yeah, more people are gonna panic sell and the prices are gonna be low and even lower driven by all those panic sells. But as a smart investor, which I know you are because you're watching me, you should buy low and sell high, not buy high and sell low, which is a majority of what people do. It's a simple concept, but it's hard to follow through because of emotion. So please overcome your emotion. Think about long term. Think about your research. Think about why you bought into this company in the first place. And no matter what stock price is at right now, that does not change your initial reason of why you chose to buy into this dividend paying stock. That does not change anything. So just keep that in mind when you do your investments on Robinhood. Like, well, it doesn't even have to be Robinhood. When you do any investment on any platform, just do not, do not, do not be a sheep, do not follow everyone else, and do not get driven by your own emotions because that is the killer of your wealth. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is the kind of video that I wish I watched before I invested like thousands of dollars into cryptocurrency and losing $2,000 within one single form of cryptocurrency within one year. And I haven't calculated my 2019 losses. I'm kind of scared of doing that because I know it's going to be like really scary and really traumatizing and I'm going to develop a lot of self hatred but yeah just do not repeat my mistake i hope you guys found this video helpful and i will see you in my other investing and personal finance video